<laughs> this game contains violence and some disturbing scenes. Life begins and ends in a mere moment. We move forward blindly between those moments, never noticing what is happening around us. But when your turn comes, when you reach the end of the conveyor belt of life, will you notice then? <laughs> Would you look at that? We're back at it again. Spirit of Mystery, the Moon Crystal. I believe this is the ninth in the series. I played a bunch at the beginning, and then I played a couple here and there, but I'm back. Back for more Spirits of Mystery. Of course, you can see the chat rolling in the top left corner. Say hello, YouTube, in the top left corner. Something that I've been experimenting lately. We're doing this live in front of the folks on YouTube, Twitch. Mixer and on Smashcast. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today We've got a looks like a blood moon here. We've got somebody trapped in this sort of wagony thing uh, I think we should go ahead and jump right into this. Let's hit that play button So casual is always nice. I like how it goes casual and then jumps right to advanced <laughs> There's no medium here. It's just casual or advanced Oh, those poor people. Whatever's behind that gate, I have to face it. To help my people, to save us all, I'll play the victim. Six hours earlier, I was working. Would you like to play with interactive help? I feel like we could survive with features only. I've played at one or a hundred of these casual adventure games before, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with them. And uh, yeah, though this is made by the same company that made the Puppet Show series. And I believe Redemption Cemetery as well. So they're known for their uh, high quality graphics for sure. So I think we should talk to uh, the lady, I guess. Happy birthday, princess. Your parents asked me to give you this letter and their congratulations. Okay. Oh, hi there. Oh my gosh, look at her hand. How pretty is that? <laughs> I don't know what you call that. I mean, I guess it's a glove. I mean, it's a glove with no fingers. There's probably a name for that. We want to talk to the horse instead? Yeah. To our beloved daughter, we're sorry we had to leave so quickly. But strange things are happening in the kingdom. We wish you a happy birthday. Your gift is in the palace. Take care of yourself and listen to Nanny. Love, Mom and Dad. I'm very proud of you, princess. You're the closest thing to a daughter I've ever had. This amulet has been passed down through the generations in my family. I'm fairly certain that Nanny's been in a lot of the mystery, uh, or Spirits of Mystery games previously. So it's basically a fingerless glove. Uh, all right. Amulet. If you put it on the altar in the Temple of the Moon, it will protect you from harm. Sounds good. Okay, can we talk to the horse? Of course we cannot. Looks like Nanny's ready to get out of here, but oh, there's like fire coming out of these birds over here. No! Nanny always surprises me with gifts! Mm-hmm. Somebody's banging on the door. 
All right, let's see what the collectibles are. I'm gonna open up the strategy guide here. And our bonus chapter. Oh, that's not what I wanna look at. Collectibles. So we have collectibles marked in green. Oh, this is kind of spoilerish here. Um, maybe we'll have to wait and find out. I'm assuming they're morphing. I'm gonna go out there and make that assumption. Should we answer the door? Like, I feel like we should. Who's this guy? Help! Okay, we're like uh, five minutes in and somebody gets stabbed. Oh boy. That horrible creature is trying to kill the priest. There was a warning at the very beginning of the game, so I guess that's that. Oh ho ho! Um, wait, what? What are we doing here? Follow the beetle with the symbol. Okay, right here, follow the beetle. We've got a battle already. Battle Royale. It's a slap fest here. Wait, why did we both get hurt? What's the logic behind that? I can't... I'm not sure I understand why uh, <laughs> we're both health bars are dropping. Oh my goodness. What the heck happened there? That monster could have killed me. It's good that the priest had a dagger. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some horror vibes in this one. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see here. Uh, who are we talking? Oh, we're talking to the priest. Thank goodness I threw that blade. A little more and he would have killed you. The night of the blood moon has come. These creatures... Ugh, water. Please, get me some water. No, finish your sentence. He, like... What? <sighs> Fine, we'll get him water, but you better finish that sentence. Give water to the priest. Wine, give him wine instead. Oh, it's empty. I seriously would have given him wine. Water will give him some strength. Why? I think wine will give him courage. The owl wing is missing. Okay, let's back up here for a bit. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know how water is going to fix that, but we'll find out. Got myself some... Ah, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, hi. Jump scare much? When the bees made their hive, they stopped in the fountain. Of course they did. Oh boy. We need a smoker. Smoke it up. Gotta somehow light it. I need to light it. Hey Chris, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I guess he could bless the water. I hadn't thought of that. He's got to bless his own water, I suppose. Lit matches. Interesting. The merchant is away. Well, let's smoke it. Smoke it if you got it. Alrighty then. We're ready to deal with the bees. Gonna go cook some breakfast, are you? I'd love to hear what is for breakfast today. And the bumblebee hive is done. I need something to remove the cork. Really? Huh, interesting that we kept the matches. Okay then. What do we have here? Missing boy. Have you seen him? Help, missing. By order of the king, due to recent disappearances, a sunset curfew is in effect. Beware, the night of the bloody moon has come. Fancy dancy corkscrew. 
Oh, you can hear the, the cathedral bells ringing. Or that's like the village bell warning everybody to deal with their curfew. <gasps> Did you see the driblets of pinkish, reddish fluid coming out of here? I feel like that would have been better for this guy, but whatever. Mm -hmm. We got water. Let's see here. Here you go, buddy. Now finish your sentence, please. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, he's got his own healing solve. Look at this guy. Huh. Some people in the kingdom have special marks on their hands. When those marks activate, resurgence from the mist enter our world and take the people. No one ever hears from them again. So that is not a good thing. So we're looking for people with special marks on their hands. And now they're after one of our parishioners, an innocent child. Please help us. Here, this medallion will get you into the temple. Hurry. Enter the temple and help the parishioner. It's a medallion. It looks kind of like a snake head, doesn't it? Interesting. Actually, it kind of looks like this fish here. Looks like that, doesn't it? What do they call those fishes with the lights on their forehead like that? Like, you see that? What, what? There's a special name for that kind of fish. Yes, we are going on an adventure. So, medallion, let's charge in here. Dagger. Show me your hand. She has the mark. Another chosen one. Okay, that can't be good. Oh yes, anglerfish. I don't know why I always forget that, but that's what they're called with the little lights on their uh, forehead. Like this thing here, look. But that was like a little girl. Um, this is not good. That would be a kidnapping situation. Oh, I like how there's like animation behind the door here. It looks like the eye is missing. Oh my gosh, there's a kitty cat. Hey, he knocked something over. Kitty cat. A sling? A screwdriver? Maybe that's what we need here. Ah, yes, yeah, screwdriver. There's our fish eye. Where did that fish go? I mean, cat go. Hmm. Well, let's put the eye on here, I guess. The church bell, or cathedral bell. Is ringing a ding, ding, ding. That looks pretty good. And we're running in to the unnamed building. I'm gonna break the door down. Whoa, 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 who's this guy? I don't like him already. <laughs> he's the guy with the gauntlet, so he is definitely not a very nice person. I think this is a collectible here, if I had to guess. Interesting, like, look at the fog. It turns kind of like a pinky purple when I do that. That's pretty cool. they go that is indeed a collectible let's have a peek at what this is all about looks like we're looking for random images it looks like I guess they look more like creatures than they look like a helm helmets made of these rare metals can withstand a dragon's flame hmm Interesting. I uh, am a little worried about this situation. 
Runestone. These runes must have a specific order, but where can I find out what that is? Interesting. I like how our uh, pointy thing is like the red moon. It almost looks like an eclipse of the red moon. Oh, that's pretty cool. An emblem fits there. Ouch. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! That is not good. Ouch! Ouch. Ouch. Oh, man. I'm starting to... Oh, that would be nasty. Ouch. Oh, that can't be good. Why do the crystals have to be so sharp and dangerous? Where did the owl-shaped candlestick go? Hmm. What's over here? Looks like we have a 